Well, a farmer in Oregon is helping people around the world celebrate Christmas with trees. Cor Harlan is live at the state's largest tree farmer, which is kicking off their holiday shipments gear this week. Cor? Boy, Merry Christmas from a rainy, rainy tree lot out here in Estacada. We're at McKenzie Farms out here, supplying trees to just about all over the country here. Cubby Steinhardt is the guy who now runs this operation. Good morning to you. You're ready Good for morning, this weather. This, this is a beautiful morning if you're a Christmas tree. The trees beautiful love the rain, morning. don't they? They love it. They're eating it up and drinking it up. Tell me a little bit about the season this year. Uh, you guys have been shipping trees already here, yes? We started at the end of October shipping a few trees overseas because it takes about 30 days on the boats to get them there. And it just kind of ramps up. We get busier and busier. We're through our first, what we call first window, and now we're cutting. I explained to you earlier, all the trees that are in the yard now, most of them have come in the last couple of days. Cut, brought in here, and they'll all be gone in three or four days, and then we'll do it all over again. This is a crazy business, I think, because you guys will sell, a, uh, what, a, what, a million and a half Christmas trees in between your operations here in North Carolina within about a 45 to 60 to 90 day window, right? You nailed it. It's a crazy business for crazy people. That's why I'm in it. <laughs> for people, now, a lot of times, I, I've, I've seen some media reports. I don't know if they're right or whether they're wrong or not. As Carl kind of shows you some of the trees here in the yard that will get loaded onto some of these semis today. About the market for Christmas trees. There were some, uh, maybe some spot shortages last year at times around the country. How about this year? How's the market for Christmas trees and prices? There's a lot of misnomers out there. Demand is pretty equal to the supply right now. There will be plenty of trees throughout the season. There were some spot shortages last year, but it wasn't because there weren't trees. Just the lot operators didn't carry enough trees. This year they've all ordered a few more. There will be plenty of trees out there. They'll be fresh. They can buy them early if they like to get a tree early. They can buy them late if they like to buy them later. And all sorts of trees. Doug fir, noble fir, grand fir, all of the firs, right? Those are the champions out west and back east. It's the Fraser fir and balsam fir. So those work back east. I'll tell you, this yard smells really good. You're going to have semi-trucks in here being loaded today, yeah? Your your assignment is the second truck that's coming in. Load 4207 is yours. Really? Okay, yeah. That's for Christmas next year, I hope, right? No, that's no, about no, how long no. it'll take me, right? We'll, we'll let you work in the truck. You can you can I, do the stuffer. Pull the, I'll, no, I'll pull the horn. I'd rather do that. Sit on my back end here where everybody else works. That's what I'm best at here. From uh, Mackenzie Farms, Oregon's largest Christmas tree grower here, where they will cut about, what did we say, about 900,000 trees in Oregon this year, another uh, half million or so in North Carolina to make a million and a half or so Christmas trees for the holiday season. This guy's got his finger on all of it here uh, from a rainy little uh, sort of sort of loading yard here where the trucks will be busy this morning, but it wouldn't be Christmas without a little bit of rain and some Christmas trees here, right? Yeah, and you know, they'll be good because they, they can tend to dry out, so the, the wetter yeah, the better. They like right? to be wet. That's yes. right. The wetter the better. Now, Corey, you were saying that uh, they were shipping trees overseas already. Uh, give us an idea of some of the places where our trees go. Cubby, Ken wants to know where you guys, uh, where you ship them to, Ken, correct? Correct, yeah, overseas. Yeah. Where you ship them to? Most of what we, comes out of here out of McKenzie will be east or west of the Rockies, a lot in California, all the way down the coast, up into the northwest. Seattle. How about overseas? We do sh some overseas. What countries? Over Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong. Believe wow. it or not. And they yeah. got to be on a boat. On a boat, right? They go on a the boat. They're on the boats right now, hopefully keeping cold. Well, we get some protests on the way and some cold Christmas yeah. trees anyway. All right. Yeah. Ken, Jenny, they go all over the place, suffice it to say, right? Okay. All right. Thanks, Cor. Appreciate it. Very interesting. All right. We are keeping our eye on weather and traffic together this morning. Mm -hmm. Going to start with traffic because there's a major situation on I-205.